Hello all, welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to model the parts and assembly of socket and spigot joint. Open SolidWorks, click new and create a new part. I am starting with the first part. We are going to revolve it. So select front plane, draw the outline profile. Click control, select the point and the origin and make it as horizontal. Then click control, select the top point and the origin and make it as vertical. Go to smart dimensions and mark the diameters. So the diameter is given as 64, so the radius is 32. The radius of this region is given as 46 by 2 and the shaft radius is given as 12.5 the radius of the inner groove is 35 by 2 now coming to the length the length of this region is given as 30 mm and the distance between these two edges is given as 105 and the distance between these two edges is actually indirectly given it is 28 plus 32 plus 28 the length of the shaft is not given so I am keeping a length of 40 mm go to features click revolve boss select the center up line and click ok now select the front plane click sketch use control 8 to view it in the normal direction and draw the profile of the slot draw a horizontal center line and also a vertical center line now click the center line and select for construction and make it as vertical and then select the horizontal center line use horizontal and for construction now go to smart dimensions the center length is given as 32 mm the slope is given as 1, 1 is to 30 so the angle is approximately 1.91 then this is at a distance of 28 mm from the origin. So I am keeping 28 mm. Go to features, click extruded cut, select mid plane, and the width is 8 mm. Next, I am going to fillet it. So the fillet radius is not mentioned, so I am keeping a fillet radius of 2 mm. And let the edges now I am going to apply the material right click on the material and I am applying plain carbon steel now save this as part number 1 click new create a new part Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the top profile. Go to smart dimensions. The radius is 32 by 2. The radius of this region is given as 40. 6 by 2 and for shaft the radius is 12.5 then the thickness of this edge is given as 12 mm 
and the distance between these two edges is given as 94. You can move it outside. Go to small dimension. The shaft length, I'm keeping it as 40 mm. Go to features, click revolve boss. Select the center line. Click OK. Now select the front plane, click sketch and draw the slot. Now draw a vertical center line and a horizontal center line. Select the vertical center line, click vertical and for construction. Similarly, select the horizontal center line, use horizontal and for construction. Now go to smart dimension, the center length is given as 32 mm and the inclination slope is given as 1 is to 30. So the inclination is around 1.91 and the center point is at a distance of 28 mm from the right edge. Go to feature, click extruded cut, use mid plane and the width is 8 mm. Now go to fillet and use a fillet radius of 2 mm and fillet the edges. Click OK. Now choose the material as plain carbon steel. So save this as part number 2. Next click new, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch and draw the profile of the key. So this is not actually key, it's a cutter. So draw a vertical center line and a horizontal center line. So select the vertical center line, use vertical and for construction. Similarly, select the horizontal center line, use horizontal and for construction. Go to smart dimension, the center length is given as 30 mm and the height is given as 100 mm. The inclination is 1.9. Go to features, click extruded boss, select mid plane and the width is 8 mm. Okay, now go to fillet, the fillet radius is 2 mm, select the top face and the bottom face then click OK. Now the material is given as high carbon steel, so right click on the material, choose edit material. So the high carbon steel is not directly given, so I am selecting a equivalent material and selecting tool steel. Okay. Now save this as part number 3. Now I am going to assemble it, click new, create a new assembly. So starting from part number 1. Now go to insert component and insert part number 2, go to mate, select the two cylindrical surfaces, make it as concentric with lock rotation, then select these two edges and make it as coincident. Now go to insert component and insert the third part that is cutter. Go to mate. Select these two surfaces. Choose coincident. Similarly select this edge and the cutter left side and make it as tangent. So 
now we have completed the assembly thank you